everybody. It's so good to see you. We are going to create a paintbrush. Now, you may already have a paintbrush at home, but I'm going to challenge you to put together a paintbrush from materials you can find around your home. Use your creative and critical thinking skills to construct a paintbrush using materials you can find around your home. Find something to use for the handle, the ferrule, and the bristles. So when you're thinking about building your paintbrush, you're gonna be choosing three different parts to put together. The handle, the ferrule, and the bristles. I looked around my home and I walked around my backyard. I walked in my backyard and I found some sticks. This is a thin stick and I can actually break it to make smaller handles on the stick. It's an odd shape. I may be able to break that too. I found a chopstick from the kitchen. Now remember if you're going to be using things in your home, you may want to ask, make sure you ask first just in case. Now let's talk about the ferrule. Now the ferrule is going to be something I'm going to um, be thinking about what might this supply be that can hold the bristles and the handle together. Found a string. This is from a hoodie. Found some tape two different types of tape, rubber band, pipe cleaner, hair tie, and I found some string. So those are the things I would use for the ferrule. Let's talk about the bristles. What did I find around my face for bristles? Well, I found a sock. I found a paper plate. When I was walking outside, I found some small sticks, beads, softer, thin beads, some tall grass. Your challenge, remember, is to use your creative and critical thinking skills to construct a paintbrush using materials you can find around your home. And something to use for the handle, the ferrule, and the bristles. You are a creative and critical thinker, and you can do this. Good luck. Oh, also, don't forget, test it out and see how it goes. See you next time. Bye.